All right, Algebra 2, Chapter 5, Section 3, Translating Parabolas. All right, in this lesson, we're going to learn to use the vertex form of a quadratic function. Okay, let's go on and investigate. So, investigating the vertex form. And each function in the first column is written in standard form, as you can see here. And in the second column, the same function is written in vertex form. We're going to investigate uh, to make sure they're the same negative b over 2a compared to 8. So let's do some math. All right. The first one, it's negative, negative 4 over 2a, which would be 2 times 1. So that's going to be a positive 2. What is our 8's value in the first column? Positive 2, because remember, it's x minus. Second one, I'm going to have negative 6 over 2 times 1. So it's going to be a negative 3. All right, I have a negative 3 here, because remember, it's x minus, so that must be negative 3. Third one, I'm going to have, I'm going to do it down here at the bottom, I'm going to have negative, negative 12 over 2 times negative 3. So those two negatives cancel, so I'm going to have negative 2. Here we go, x plus 2, again, that's going to be x minus negative 2, so I have a negative 2 eighths value. Okay, now let's look at the next one. 2x plus 2x squared plus 12x. So my it's going to be negative 12 over 2 times 2. So that's going to be negative 3. And that's x minus negative 3. So what do you notice? Our negative b over 2a, which if you guys remember, that's the x value of the vertex. It's also the axis of symmetry. It's the same thing as our h value in vertex form. Okay? Pretty interesting. So in Chapter 2, we learn how to graph linear functions and absolute value functions as translations of their parent functions. Similarly, we can graph quadratic functions as translations of their parent function, y equals ax squared. To translate a graph of a quadratic function, you can use the vertex form which is this. Memorize and study this. y equals a. It's the same value we had before. In parentheses, x minus h squared plus k. The graph of y equals a in parentheses x minus h squared plus k is a graph of y equals ax squared translated h units horizontally and k units vertically. So let's look. When h is positive, the graph shifts to the right. When h is negative, it shifts to the left. When k is positive, it shifts up. When k is negative, it shifts down. The axis of symmetry is x equals h, and the vertex is h comma k. Okay? A function in vertex form is very easy to graph. Okay? So graph y equals negative 1 half in parentheses x minus 2 plus 3. All right, step one, graph the vertex. We can easily find the h and k values, so it's 2 and 3. The axis of symmetry is x equals 2, so we can plot the vertex, and we can graph or draw the axis of symmetry. Easy enough. Find another point. So we can make x 0 and solve and find it equals 1. So we can graph y or 0, 1. Once we graph 0, 1, we can graph or plot its corresponding point, okay? Since 0, 1 is 2 units away from the axis of symmetry, it's going to be 4 units away from its corresponding point. Once we plot those points, we can sketch the curve. Pretty quick, pretty, pretty easy. Okay, so our first example. Graph 2 times x plus 1 minus 4. Sorry, x plus 1 squared. So let's look real quick. Okay, so we're really graphing y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So our h value here is negative 1, because remember it's going to be x minus negative 1. Our k value is negative 4. So h is our horizontal translation, k is our vertical translation, so we're going to go left 1, down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's our vertex, and negative 1, negative 4. Okay, so what can we do now? So now y equals 
2x plus 1 squared minus 4. So let's make x equal to 0 and solve. So that's going to be y equals 2 times 1 squared minus 4. So y is going to equal 4 minus 4. So y is going to equal 0. So when y equals 0, or when x equals 0, y equals 0. So let's plot that point. Okay, now I have an axis of symmetry at what? x equals negative 1. x equals negative 1. That's my axis of symmetry. So I have a point 0, 0. I'm going to have a corresponding point on the opposite side, equal distance from the uh, axis of symmetry. So I'm one unit away from the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to be two units away from my corresponding point. So now I can graph it. Remember, this isn't linear. It's going to be curved. It's a parabola. So there we go. That's our first graph. Okay, next one. You can use the vertex form to write an equation of a parabola. Substitute the values for h and k in a point x and y and then solve for a. So write the equation at the parabola at the right. Okay, so let's look at it. Okay, I know the vertex is what? 3, 4. And I know a corresponding point is 5, negative 4. So let's write the vertex form. y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So what is our y value from the point? Negative 4 equals a. What's our x value? 5 minus what's our h value, 3, plus what's our k value, 4. So now we just do a little math and we solve. So let's subtract 4 to each side. All right, so I'm going to get negative 8 equals a times 2 squared. So negative 8 is going to equal 4a. So a is going to equal negative 2, which makes sense because which way is the parabola going down? So my a value should be negative. So to rewrite this equation, again, it's y equals a x minus h plus k. So it's going to be y equals negative 2 times x minus our h value from the, what was given, the vertex is 3 plus 4. So my equation is y equals negative 2 times x minus 3 squared. Let's put the squared sign. I forgot that. Plus 4. So again, y equals negative 2 times x minus 3 squared plus 4. Moving on. Use the vertex form to write the equation of this parabola. All right. Step 1. What is the vertex? The vertex is negative 1, 0. What's a point on the uh, parabola? Negative 2, 2. So I have the equation, y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So here's our x and y values and our h and k values. So y is 2, so 2 is going to equal our a, our x value is negative 2, minus our h value, which is negative 1, squared plus our k value is 0. So 2 equals a. What is negative 2 minus negative 1? So it's going to be a times negative 1 squared. It's negative 1 squared, 1. So 2 equals a times 1. So a equals 2. OK, so my equation, again, is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So it's going to be y equals 2 times x. OK, it's minus negative 1 squared. And k is 0, so we can leave it blank. So there's our answer. OK, moving on to the next one. Pretty easy to do, right? So now we have a word problem. So let's just read through this one since it's in your notes. The Veranzano Narrows Bridge in New York has the longest span of any suspension bridge in the United States. Okay. 
A suspension cable of bridges forms a curve that resembles a parabola. The curve can be modeled with this function. Okay, so there's my vertex form, where x and y are measured in feet. The origins functions, the origin of the functions graph are at the base of the two towers support the cables. How far apart are the, the towers and how high are they? Start by drawing a diagram. So we have a diagram, we have a vertex. So the function in the vertex form, h and k is 2,130 and 0, so the vertex is at 2,130, 0. The vertex is halfway between the towers, so the distance between the two towers is 4,260 feet. It also says how high are the towers. So to find the tower's height for y when x equals 0, so you just plug in x equals 0 and solve. So the towers are 4,260 feet apart and about 650 feet high. Okay, so let's keep going. Both the vertex form and standard form give very useful information about parabolas. The standard form makes it easy to identify the y-intercept. The vertex makes it easy to identify the vertex and graph the parabola as a translation. The graph shows the relation between the two forms. You can convert a function from standard to vertex form. Okay, so let's just look. So you have two equations. You have a standard equation. You have a vertex equation. So you have the advantages of both, okay? Make sure you understand all this. This is important. This will be on your test for sure. All right, converting. Okay, let's walk through this one. Write y equals 2x squared plus 10x plus 7 in vertex form. First thing we got to do is find the x-coordinate like we always do. So it's a standard form, so x equals b over negative 2a. So we solve for x. And then we're going to solve for the y coordinate of the vertex, which is, once we plug it back in, is negative 5.5. So we found the vertex. Okay. The a value was already given. So now we have a, h, and k. So we can plug it right back in to our standard equation. So let's work one through. Okay, right y equals negative 3x squared plus 12x plus 5 in vertex form. So let's first identify a is negative 3, our b is 12, our c is 5. All right, so what is my x coordinate of the vertex? Negative b over 2a, which is going to be negative 12 over 2 times negative 3, which is negative 12 over negative 6, which would be 2. So the x value of my vertex is 2. That's also my h value, 2. OK, so now I have to solve for the y value of the vertex. So y equals negative 3. Our x value is 2. So 2 squared plus 12 times 2 plus 5. So 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 12 times 2 is 24 plus 5. So my V of Y equals, it looks like, 17. So in vertex form, Y equals A, X minus H squared plus K. So the Y value of the vertex is also my K value. So. I have my h value right here, I have my k value, and I have my a value, so I have enough to draw it. So y equals, my a value is negative 3, x minus, my h value is 2, squared, plus my k value, which was 17. All right. Make sure those make sense to you, and that's the lesson for today.